Diana Day right here, rah, 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 hurry, hurry, hurry. It is Friday and we made it to the end of another week. Uh, I hope you're fine well today. Uh, if I'm looking a wee bit flat, I'm just back from my uh, sea swim, uh, you know, my skinny dip sea swim with uh, my best. We had our breakfast down there and it's been very, very breezy the last few days in Denmark. So it was quite tough going on the bike and, uh, and, and, and my, my hair's going to be a bit flat. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do today, a little chat video. So if you want to grab some laundry, you can fold some laundry. If you want to, if you're in the office or in your, uh, your home office, maybe you want to clean out a desk drawer uh, or go through some documents. Uh, we're, we're just going to have a wee chat, a few things that have come up in questions on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, and this will probably be my last uh, video uh, for a wee while. We, we uh, are now on summer holidays here in Denmark. As I explained last week, it was my birthday, my son graduated, we had uh, the midsummer uh, celebration, so there, there's been a lot going on and uh, I'm looking forward to spending some relaxing time with the family. We will not be, of course, going to South Korea this year. That, that's, that was the, the, the plan, or it was back in January, and of course we could see that uh, even back in January, that, that was going to be hot happening. So, uh, a summer holiday for us this year will either be here in wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen, somewhere in Denmark, uh, or maybe Norway. We shall see. Anyway, let's get into the uh, the questions. And there was a question that came up uh, when, when I'd be talking about having this crazy busy week. And how do I kind of uh, recover after one of those weeks? It, it was a lady who said she was a bit of an introvert and you know after all the, those kind of uh, you know their fun celebrations it really kind of takes it out of us and and uh, I've, I've talked about this before about really nailing that thing of doing the self-preservation. Now you know what I've got, uh, hold on, let me just grab my, because you're sitting on it, um, you know I've got my uh, Hugo Home uh, control journal and in there uh, you know got things like the cleaning lists, things like that. Remember the, the, this week we've been working two zones, uh, zone one and zone five and also you've helped me to come up with some ideas um, you know, for gardening by zone and self-preservation in the zone. And I found it really helpful to have my little uh, bingo card with things that I can do for myself this week. It, it just, it puts it right there in front of us so that we're reminded that we, just, just taking a few minutes uh, for ourselves every day, it doesn't need to be, you know, going to the spa and sitting there for five hours. Just the very fact of cutting a little bloom from the garden and bringing it in and placing it somewhere where you're going to see it. I always have something inside the sink. Um, that, that's really been key for me because after all these kind of things that are going on, uh, in, in the past I would just kind of want to throw a blanket over my head and sit in a dark corner <laughs> and have nobody talk to me. But I'm, I'm really good now about uh, balancing things. Also, when, when um, uh, things like, I, I've talked about this every, every summer that comes up, you know that thing, uh, and things may be different, of course, because um, of the COVID-19, of Corona situation, but usually at this time of year, you know, we're all having to volunteer at school or uh, there's uh, parties going on. And it's kind of easy to lose yourself and to let all the normal routines go out the window. And then you end up not feeding yourself, you end up not getting enough sleep uh, and kind of running yourself ragged. And, and the, the key thing is that you look after yourself by making sure that you know, you're drinking your water. I've got my wee flask of tea from this morning. Uh, drinking your water, eating regular meals, setting yourself up for these things. If you know that you're going to be out volunteering at school, helping with a party or, I don't know, a scout jamboree, whatever it is, or the local football club, make sure that you pack yourself a lunch the day before so that you know you're going to be busy, but you know, you've got a packed lunch ready. Uh, and I've told you that I often make a packed lunch for myself, even though I know I'm going to be working from home the next day. It's just easy to grab it when things are busy. Um, and you know, the, the usual things of making sure that you try, try and get to bed early, um, read a, a chapter of a book, uh, just all these small things can really change things up for us. And uh, another question that came in recently was coping when you have um, family or friends visiting. 
And I've been down that path where, you know, you want to be the hostess with the hostess and the family would come to visit for, and they would stay here for like one or two weeks. And I felt like I had to do everything. I had to be the best hostess. I have to put on all the meals and I wasn't going to accept help from anybody. And you know what happens is <laughs> you, became, you become that really grumpy hostess. And we have this saying, uh, there's an expression in Denmark that uh, guests, you know, visitors and fish, are, are, are the same after three days, they, they both begin to smell. And, and it's that thing of, you know, you're looking forward to your guests coming, but sometimes you've done so much work or the expectations are so high that it kind of ruins it for you. And you really have to, you know, do that thing, I say it all the time, take a step back, lower the expectations. The family and friends are not expecting three course meals and bread that you've cooked yourself and, you know, this thing of making the cheese yourself, doing everything. You know, get some nice takeaway for, for when your family are there. Uh, let them help. Um, I've told you these stories before, but you know, often when uh, my mum and dad would come and stay for about two weeks, it was really important for me to accept the help, but also to guide them to the help that would help me. For example, you know, I know my dad would be wanting to do something. So I would send them out in the garden with a pair of secateurs and he's quite happy, you know, deadheading flowers or, you know, pruning uh, bushes uh, and vacuuming. <laughs> my dad, my, my, dear, my dear dad, he loved to vacuum and he would be, he could happily vacuum all day. So I would just say, dad, there's a vacuum cleaner, there's a hoover, you just get on with it. Uh, and mum, she's really good, you know, at uh, doing dusting and stuff and uh, doing, the, you know, spots of ironing or making a pot of soup. So I would ask them for the help in that way and, and don't feel like, um, you know, it's a criticism of how you're doing things. You know, the family want to help and they don't want to be kind of sitting there on the sofa thinking, you know, I can't move because, you know, Diane is going to say, no, sit down, you sit there. So, so let, let them help uh, and, and be reasonable about, about these things. You do not need to sit up until the wee small hours uh, talking with the family every day that they're there. Everybody needs a wee bit of break on their own. Maybe you can retire to your bedroom, which is hopefully decluttered and, you know, tidy and give you a wee haven for you. Just say, you know, I'm just going to take a wee break for 10 minutes. And you know what? Your guests will be quite happy to have a wee break themselves. So I hope you'll remember that. Oh, and uh, also on this thing of just doing these little nice things for yourself. Uh, and I got a couple of uh, really nice uh, gifts for my birthday. Um, and, you know, it's all about this, you know, living in the moment, you know, we're, we're, we're in high summer here in Denmark. Uh, and uh, one, one of the ones uh, was from uh, Vibica. This is a lavender body wash, which is really nice at the end of the day when it's been really hot. We had a, a heat wave here in Denmark last week. It's really nice just, uh, you know, I've, I've been for a run and then I come back and then I have a nice relaxing uh, lukewarm shower or a cold shower with the lavender one. And then in the morning, oh, this one uh, is really, really zingy. Like I wish there was kind of smelly bit. Can you smell that? Oh, it's, it's, it's really, really powerful ginger. And I, I felt, you know, some mornings I've, I've woken up the last few days after, you know, all the parties and stuff that we've had here that I was kind of, you know, where's, where's my cup of coffee? You know, come down here. And uh, I put this one in, and you know, and it's just having a shower, but you know, it's, it's a lovely scent and I just feel like I've done something good for myself. So I hope you will do something good for you, for yourself. Uh, and the other thing is, do you have any uh, projects for the summer? Everybody's probably gonna be doing a uh, staycation this year. Oh, hold on, and I, I may have to suddenly answer the doorbell, I think. There's a delivery coming. Anyway, I'll, I'll keep talking until the delivery comes. Um, you know, most of us will be doing staycation this year. You know, go ahead and print out, you know, the Fly Lady Camp Journal. It is for kids, but anybody can use it. Just so that instead of the weeks kind of slipping through your fingers, that you've got some ideas of what you want to do. Maybe you want to work on doing some exercise and uh, meet up with a friend at a distance. Uh, and maybe uh, go for an early morning jog or a, a walk in the canyon, uh, wherever you are. Uh, I, I've got a wee project that I'm going to be doing. Now, th this is a, a Danish series that I've never seen that my besties, Vibeke and Helena, they love it. Uh, and it's a, it's a really old fashioned thing. And if you think of kind of Game of Thrones, I want, this is like the other end of the spectrum. It's pure kind of hygge uh, and a wee bit kind of kitsch, but quite cheesy. 
Uh, but I, I know all the Danish um, actors in it and a lot of the actors live in our area. Uh, so my, my summer project, <laughs> Vibeka had all five seasons on DVD. I'm going to watch, I'm aiming to watch three, there is Bella Hotel it is called, I'm aiming to watch at least three episodes a week. And it's just that real kind of indulgence, it's all about um, a, a, a bathing hotel on, on the coast uh, up, up north in Jutland. Uh, and it's all about, uh, it's after the war, and it, anyway, it, it, it's, it looks quite good. So that's one of my, my summer projects. So instead of, like, you know, one week leads on to the other and you haven't really done anything, just think of a, wee, a few plans for yourself. Uh, maybe there are a few uh, people that you want to get in touch with. Maybe you can't see them physically, but, uh, you know, once again, meet them uh, on, on Messenger or Zoom, something like that. Just so that we have some kind of focus for our weeks and also some focus for your, your children. If they are at school, instead of that thing of, you know, us all turning into a summer, summer zombies because, you know, it may be hot and you feel like, oh, don't really want to do anything. Do you just plan a few wee things. Let them plan it too. Maybe they can uh, do some baking or maybe they can cook uh, dinner a couple of times a week. That's how my kids started. So, so just let's have a few plans for it. Don't go overboard with the planning. Just keep it simple. Keep the expectations low. And we'll all keep ticking along. Uh, let me just check my list and otherwise I'll send you in your merry way. No, I'm going to pick a few more items to do from my list. I'm going to set the timer for 10 minutes and knock off uh, a couple of things from, from Zone 1. Uh, and if you don't see me on YouTube uh, for the next few weeks, I, I will be popping in from time to time. You know me, I can't, I can't uh, resist kind of sharing something exciting. Uh, I, you will find me uh, on Instagram, I'm always around on Instagram, and also on my blog, dianedenmark.com. I'm still tinkering around with it, so bear with me. Uh, I, I moved 10, worth, 10 years worth of posts to a different platform, and everything that could go wrong went wrong with it. But uh, I'm, I'm slowly getting there, you, you know, uh, we're, we're just a work in progress. So anyway, um, live long and prosper. May the Danish summer hoogie be with you, and I shall see you when I see you, and I'll give you a rah-rah-rah to send you in a merry way. So, rah-rah-rah. Okay, bye for now.